Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Now that is what I call natural lighting. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been so long since I filmed a video and I keep doing like the same types of videos, but um, I'm doing these kind of videos until I can get to a point where I can do the video that I want to do. But as you can tell, you probably can tell, I'm literally not filming on my camera. This is my camera and I haven't been able to find my battery pack. My battery pack has been missing because I moved again. So my battery pack has been missing for a while now. And in order for me to use this app to order a new battery pack, and I really wanted to do a video today. And so I was like, I don't want to deal with ordering it then waiting for it to ship out then waiting for it to get delivered i'm like i don't really want to do that but oh but yeah i did move again i remember the the video that i made um back in august saying that i had just moved into my apartment and yeah i had just moved into my apartment sorry my hands are a little ashy i did had i did had i did just move into my apartment and i'm in a new place now solely by myself because i remember saying that i moved in to that apartment with my baby sister but now i live by myself and i love it it's so nice it's beautiful right now i'm in like my I don't really closet, call it my closet room, but it's like my, it's my favorite room in the house. This room is literally my vision coming to life because I envisioned a room where it could just be used solely for my shoes, my clothes, my vanity for filming, like all this stuff. And like, it's like my dream and my vision is coming to life and I love it. And it's like literally so nice in here. Sometimes I just come in here and sit, me and my stink. Me and my stink, he lives with me now. Come here. Come here so I can show you to the camera. Come here. I'm gonna try to pick him up. He's so stubborn though. <laughs> He's so stubborn. <laughs> this is my baby. Say hi, stinker. Say hi, stinker. I think that's gonna be my thumbnail. But no, this is my baby. He lives with his mommy now. He lives with me now. So I got my baby. Um, But yeah, I finished all my classes. I'm currently on winter break. I finished all my classes. I passed all my classes. I think um the final grade should be out today. By the end of today. So... Tomorrow, Lord willing, I think I'm going to go. Something's in my eye. I think I'm going to go and check that out to see what my GPA is going to be. Um, I've been breaking out so bad. And I think it's because I need to calm down with experimenting with skincare. I've been trying to experiment using like different kinds of skincare and that's not a good idea. I don't recommend that. These bumps came after I used the specific soap. I used Dove soap, the white Dove soap, the unscented in the shower and I used it on my face to wash my face. And then I started getting bumps. And I say that soap is good. I've used it before and I didn't break out. I can't even necessarily say that it was the soap that did it. But after I used that soap, these bumps started coming. But yeah, I finished all my classes, passed all my classes. So now I'm on break and I, I'm able to do like little stuff around the house to get like everything together and in order because I really want to do a house tour um i got a brand new car a jeep grand cherokee um i got it like in september and i still didn't do a video about that um god has just been a blessing to me in my life god has just been so good and sometimes i get emotional because um when i made that video 
uh, back in August. If y'all want to go back and, and look at it. I made that video back in August. It was catch up with me after one year because I haven't filmed in a year. And um, I was like, you know what? God is good. My life is great. And then I started saying, um, and it came, it was tested. I'm telling you it was tested. I was like, no matter what I'm going through, no matter my circumstance, no matter the situations I'm going through, God is still good. He's still worthy to be praised. I went through the most traumatic thing in life personally to me in that moment in time in my life. And it was not good. Like it wasn't good on my mental health. It wasn't good just on me, period. Um, like um, most people, I think the thing that is encouraging, right? It's a good thing. But most people look at me and they say, um, you're so strong. Like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you're doing it. When in reality, everyone knows that it's not me, but it's God. But it's just like people don't understand what goes on behind closed doors. They actually don't know and understand what you're actually going through. Like there be points in times where I'm crying my eyes out all day and I'm begging God to heal my heart and to fix my mind and to shape me and mold me into the woman that he wants me to be in the midst of my despair, in the midst of my sorrow, in the midst of my hurt. And I'm like, God, I don't see how I'm going to recover from this. I don't see how things are going to get better for me. I don't see it, but I know that you see it. So I'm just going to continue trusting and believing on you. I remember like where I was like months ago, like before all of this, I remember how things used to be. I remember the hurt. I remember the pain. I remember one night, right? And um, I believe in full, full honest transparency. You never know and understand what people are going through, their situations and their circumstances. And maybe I can be a testimony or an encouragement to somebody else, but I remember sitting in my apartment and I was sitting there and I was just crying. I think it was the night of August 28th, August 29th. One of those, um, just right when I started school. Um, and I was sitting in my living room and I remember just crying. I was just crying. It was a Sunday night and I was just crying. I was just crying. I was just so in so much despair, like, it felt like everything in my life was just horrible, right? And I was just like crying and crying and crying and crying. And my heart was so heavy. And I'm sitting there and my body just starts shaking like out of nowhere. And my entire body just starts shaking. And I'm telling myself, this is what I'm telling myself. I'm like, this is the day that I end my life. I'm not going to live like this no more. I don't want to be here no more. Obviously, things aren't going to be better because... I've been going through a mental battle in my life since like December of 2022. And I remember points in times where I wanted to end my life. It was just a thing in my head that just kept hitting me. Like things is easier and better like that. And I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end my life. And it's just been a mental battle. And I couldn't do nothing but fast and pray for that thing to go away. But that night of August of this year, 2023, when I sat in my living room, I was sure about it. I got up and um, I made a video. I have been fighting for so long. And people just knew the amount of strength that is taking me right now to not end my own life. And um, I made that video and I was crying hysterically in that video. And I was like, I can't do this no more. I really can't do it anymore. Like, y'all don't understand the amount of strength that has taken me just to get this far. I was like, I can't even see tomorrow. I can't even bear tomorrow. And tomorrow wasn't even here yet. And I was like, I can't do it no more. I got up. 
I started getting dressed and I was like, how can I do it? And in my head, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. But then I'm saying, Lord, Lord, help me. 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to end my life. Lord, help me. As my body is seriously shaking so bad. And I get in my car and I start driving. And I'm driving so fast. I'm crying. I'm literally crying so bad. I've never cried like this in my life. And I'm crying and I'm crying and I'm crying and I'm crying. And I'm going like 90 down the road. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I can just crash into this building, crash into this wall. Hopefully my car will flip and it'll just end my life. And it'll just look like a bad accident. And I'm just like, I can't do this no more. And as I'm about to do it, I can't explain what happens, but instantly in my mind, it was just go to your mom's house, right? My mom lived like 10 minutes away from me. And in my head, it was just like, go to your mom's house. Now, I did not want to go to my mom's house, but I was like, I don't know why I went, but my car went in the direction to go to my mom's house. And I parked. And I was just like, I was still crying. I was shaking. I was trying to find my hands are shaking. And I thankfully, I still had the house key to my, my parents' house where I used to live. And I went and I'm in the door and I unlocked the door and I went in. And my mom was just standing. She was literally standing at the bottom of the steps. She was standing at the bottom of the steps like she was expecting me to come. I didn't text my mom and tell her I was coming. I did not call my mom. I didn't do anything like that. I'm telling you. Literally, I was literally, it's just insane to me. Like, it's just insane to me. Um, I was just crying and crying. And I just went there. Keep in mind, it's like 11 at night. And I pull in and I go to my mom. And my mom is at the bottom of the steps. And I set my keys on the banister. And I'm trying so hard to keep it together. But I just completely, like, break down. And my mom, when I come in, she turned and she she's like, boo. Like, she tried to scare me, but she didn't scare me. And I looked at her and I just start breaking down crying. And she looks at me. She's like, Amara, what is wrong? I'm like, mom, I just want to kill myself. Like, I want to end my life. And I don't know why. I don't know why I'm feeling like this. And I just want to end my life. And she came up, she came up the stairs and we sat there and she just held me. She held me and I just cried. I just cried. I just cried. And she held me there. And when I kind of calmed down a little bit, she sat there and she encouraged me. And she just told me that these negative thoughts and these negative feelings, they don't come from God. So you already know that it's the trick of the enemy. And you have to know that you're stronger than this. You're bigger than this. And it's just a moment. And it's just a season of mine. And we were just talking and discussing some things as to why I was feeling like this. And honestly, from that moment, things did not get better. <laughs> things did not get better, but they got worse, okay? And so, um, event situations and circumstances happened that um, made me feel even worse. But I kept on encouraging myself in the Lord. And... Um, now I'm where I am today and God is just good and I sit and I think about I'm like what if I ended my life that night where I wanted to <laughs> and that's why I just thank God because the scripture that is so dear to my heart that I continue to tell myself every day that I continue to remind myself even in the midst of my prayers is that God's grace is sufficient enough for me and that even in my times of weakness, I can declare that I'm strong and I'd rather get weak in the faith than to give up because I know in my weakness, God can give me strength. So I was just like, you know what? I'm glad for what I went through. I'm glad for what I went through and I know and I understand that it's just going to get harder. Like, I know I'm going to face some trials and some tribulations in the future that's going to be even worse than what I had to go through. 
and I'm just asking the Lord to continue to give me strength. And like I will always say in my last video, I said it. And in this video, I said it that despite the circumstance, despite the situation, despite what I'm going through, despite it all, God is still good and he is still worthy of my worship and he's still worthy of my praise. And I will worship him, praise him and reverence him all the days of my life because he has just been so good to me. Y'all don't understand this place that I'm sitting in right now is just evident that God is good. God is good to me. And I'm just like, God, I thank you that I did not do that. And I'm thank you. I'm thanking you for my mom. Like I know um it's good to encourage yourself and and you know pray for yourself. But at that point in time I needed my mom and he put it in my spirit to go to my mom. And when I went to my mom's house and she was literally just there, I don't know why she was there. I don't know what she was doing, but she was literally at the bottom of the steps, just looking at the door. And I just came in like, boom, like she knew I was coming. And I just thank God for that. And so I know eventually, right, that I really want to do a house tour. Um, everything is slowly coming together. I feel like by the end of this week, I should have everything together because I have literally nothing to do so every single day I mean I'm just like doing little stuff and my baby is playing with his toys literally if I'm in any room if I was in the living room right now he would not be in here he literally just brought you heard that he literally just brought all his toys in here and he's playing with them <laughs> I love him this is my little guy but yeah that is good he is great yeah i can't wait to do like a tour of this room or i can't wait to uh do when i do my my house tour i really can't wait to do the tour of this room this room is not even fully done yet i still got like like 40 50 percent to go with this room i really want to like i did this mirror today in this mirror i don't know if you can tell on camera this mirror is cricket this one i can never get that mirror to be straight i don't know why but it's a little cricket but i want to get more mirrors in here i want to get mirrors up over there and yeah it's good it's i really like how it's coming along this down here i'm not really liking that though and the the where my purses are as you can see this i don't like that that's not really straight to me i i want it to be neater like i want to get like a purse rack and i want this rack to be something totally different i don't even want it to be for my purses i gotta go through and i gotta color coordinate everything i did not feel like doing that i said once i get everything hung up then i'll get everything color coordinated and everything my other closet in the master bedroom is full of just coats and sweaters <laughs> i decided to just let that be my coat closet and this one is just when i come in here and i just get ready for church or ready for any anything i haven't been really doing anything as much as i would like to but yeah i guess this is another catch up with me but i'm not gonna title it catch up with me because I just did a catch up with me. I'm going to title it like a testimony. My testimony. But I promise more videos are coming because I really want to expand YouTube. I love YouTube. I love YouTube. It's not even just YouTube, but I love filming. I love filming so much. I love filming. I love talking behind the camera. I like showing my life. I like editing. I like posting it. I like creating, like thinking about more content to do. I love it so much. I love it so much. And um, yeah, I want to do more with it, especially while I'm on break for three weeks. I want to at least make at least like three more videos um, while I'm on break so that when I go back to school, I can focus on, you know, getting into the groove of school and getting things situated and then you know coming back and making another video but school is most important and i gotta make sure i i get things like situated with that but yeah sorry my knobs are coming on i don't know why they're coming on it's 
because this one wants to act funny okay this vanity i barely used it at my um other apartment and it was literally the most expensive thing that i have in this room right now i mean all my clothes i mean yeah not the most expensive thing because like all of this put together is expensive but this vanity is my baby um i'm gonna insert a picture right here of the vanity um yeah i got it when i moved into my apartment yeah i got a lot of stuff when i moved into my when i moved into my apartment but i think this is gonna conclude the video i just wanted to come in here share my testimony share where i've been share how my life has been um my house tour is definitely gonna be coming by next week by next week i will be doing a house tour by next week before 2024 lord willing i will be posting a house tour because i can't keep putting it off and i really want to do it but thank you so much for watching and please tune in for more future videos to come because i really want to do better with youtube a lot better than what i'm doing now um continue to give me like some ideas too i'm just looking at my jeep right now i don't know why i parked it on the street i should go move it in the driveway but she looks good she looks pretty i call her black cherry i call her black cherry because she's all black and i call her cherry because the emblem jeep in the front and the back is red so i'll call her black cherry and that's my baby i love her and you my baby too but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I should be getting my braces off in like end of February, February, beginning of March. I was supposed to be getting my braces off January 16th, but I broke a bracket and I didn't know I broke a bracket and my tooth literally started shifting up. Like you see how level they are? Like one of the tooth was like bucked is jacked it was bucked so i had to go and they had to take off a specific wire that they put on before they fit you for your retainer so they took that wire off and had to put me back in my my regular wire to get that tooth back down and she was like you know what we're gonna have to push everything back so i go back on the 16th the same day i was supposed to get my braces off i go back to get that same wire put on and then when i get that wire put on i'm gonna get scheduled for my um get fitted for my retainer and then after i get fitted for my retainer i make another appointment and i'll get them off but those those appointments are like spread like they're like they're like spread they're not spread far apart like the the getting my retainer fitted um i get my fitted for my retainer and then like two weeks later i get my braces off so yeah so it should be by march beginning of march i should have my lord willie i should have my braces off you want to say bye to the camera you want to say bye to the camera come here come here do you want to say bye to the camera say bye say bye to the camera say bye to the camera thank you y'all for watching um yeah <laughs>